Hi everybody, it's Dr. Nancy, and I'm here to just share some information with you about our new GeneSNP data processing spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I'll share my screen so you can see what we're doing. All right, so the first thing you'll wanna do is to go to your business account, unfranchised.com, and you're gonna to go to help and training, and you're gonna to go to support materials. And when you get there, you're gonna be able to do a search. And I like to just search on spreadsheet. And I think you'll see that one of the first things that comes up is the new GeneSNP 2019 data processing spreadsheet. So I'm gonna just click download for that. And that's gonna get downloaded right onto my computer. The next thing that I'm gonna search for is the sample lab report. And this is the lab report from our lab that does the data, the actual data DNA analysis. Um, so that's coming from our lab desk bio. And I'm gonna download that. And we're gonna use those two things to really familiarize ourselves with the new approach for the data processing rather than doing it manually. So when I go to downloads, um, you're gonna see that these files have sort of funky names. So I like to rename them. This is GeneSNP data processing spreadsheets good and then GeneSNP DNA analysis sample lab report. If you wanna shorten that, you can, that's totally up to you. So I'm gonna just walk you through some of the details with regard to the spreadsheet so you can see exactly you know, how it works. You'll see here that we have a, a gene and there's three different possible combinations. Um, so you'll see that for FAME2, you can have the AA variant, the AG or the GG and so forth, working your whole way down through the spreadsheet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be just putting a one next to the right variant. So what's important to know is that you're only ever gonna put a one next to one of these three FAME2 genes. You're only gonna put a one next to one of these three for MC4R134, okay? And that's very important because when you get to the bottom, you're gonna be able to see that we have a total and it's gonna to total the total number of genes as well as the number of pages to print. Some genes are repeated during the report and so, you know, we're not going to print duplicate pages for those. But what's great about this spreadsheet is it's going to tell you exactly what pages need to be printed. Likewise, that means you can also know what pages to delete if you'd like to save these into a PDF file working, you know, if the health professional wants to do that. And we use PDF Expert and PDF Element, depending on if you have a Mac or a PC, to do that. But today, we're just going to focus on getting the data out of the DeskBio, um, you know, lab report and into this spreadsheet. And so we're gonna start at the top and I would put in either the sample report number or I would put in the actual name. So I'm just gonna put in here sample report as the actual name here in this case. And then you're gonna see that that will show up on other pages. So I'm gonna get the help of an individual to, as I read through the SNP, the genes, to tell me which variation we've got because it's much easier to do it together. You sit side by side. I will read off the gene name Kevin, my husband's gonna give us the right variant and he's gonna make sure I put it in the right box. That way we make sure that everything's good and the, the integrity of the data is good. So we're just gonna read a few of these just to kind of familiarize you with it. So Kevin, using the sample report um, from Nutrametrics, FAME2, what is the variation there? AG. AG, okay. And for MC4134? AG. Okay, AG. And for SEC16B? TT. TT. And for TMEP? AA. AA. And for FTO609? TT. TT. And for NSIG2? GC. Okay, GC. Now, I want to just make sure you guys understand that the red uh, coded SNPs are the ones that could potentially be problematic for someone. The yellow are what we call neutral SNPs, and the green are what we call gain genes. So those actually offer an advantage. You can look at the spreadsheet now and know that from the 144 page report that's unique and you know, available only to licensed health professionals, it's telling you exactly what pages from that report would need to be printed out to be able to give a patient a customized gene SNP report. So let's go ahead and go over to where I have the file open and I've got the whole data set in there. We're not gonna read them all to you, but I do recommend you working with somebody to work through this to make sure that you get the correct values. So if we now look at the results, one of the things that you want to do is you want to scroll clear to the bottom of the spreadsheet, because at the bottom, we're going to know how many uh, genes have been you know, reported and how many unique SNPs. So we're looking for the number 61 at the bottom, because that's how many genes are reported in the report. And 48 of them are unique, so that's, there'll be 48 pages in the report. And you now know exactly the number, of, uh, the page numbers that you want. We're going to go to the bundle slide now. And so that you can see that all on um, one page, uh, we're gonna change the size here. I'm gonna change this to 75% so that you can see everything at once. 
And as you look at, at the final results here, we're gonna focus on the, the um, different bundles with the higher percentage. So in this particular example, we have a, uh, the gut guard bundle with a score of 55.6%. So that means that five of the nine genes associated with that um, were red. Um, and then the next two highest ones would be the balance bundle, which is all about stress and mental health support, and the resistance bundle, which is all about hormones and you know, uh, potential for challenges with weight loss. So you know, um, the health professional will have a discussion with the patient and they'll make a determination. Now you guys have access to the bundle, tally, the bundle sheets. So when you have this bundle tally, you'll be able to look at the bundles and share with the health professional, you know, what is recommended for, for example, the gut guard bundle or the balance or resistance bundle. But just so you guys know, you might wanna do a quick screen capture of this. These are the results that you should be seeing if you've successfully tallied the data for the sample gene SNP report. So, you know, that way you can kind of do a test. This is what we have as the last portion of the spreadsheet. So there's three tabs in the spreadsheet. The first is for data entry. The next is the summary of the bundles and that's generated automatically as is the summary. And this is really just going through the genes and providing individual product recommendations as well as lifestyle suggestions that Dr. D has put together. Now what I want you to know is that the products are not in any particular order. So that's an important thing to know. And I want you to realize that, you know, we can't put all the details here. This is just meant to be a quick summary. Some health professionals will choose to give this summary to their patients. Um, and they might go through it and scroll through it and say, look, I want you to just notice, look how many yellow and green genes you've got here, which are gain genes and neutral genes. So this is awesome. And we can really work on the red genes because, you know, we can turn up the good things and turn down the bad things. And they might want to have a conversation with their patient, asking what they're most concerned about. You know, maybe the individual knows, for example, that they do better with a lower carb or lower glycemic uh, program uh, for dietary choices. Maybe they won't be surprised to know that the compulsion is an issue for them. And, you know, they're, they're going to be able to look at not only the individual product recommendations, but also they're going to be able to look at, you know, uh, lifestyle recommendations. So, you know, this is really what I wanted to share with you. I think it will be the first step for anybody would be to download the two files. The next step is to actually enter the data from the sample gene SNP report into the spreadsheet and then just see if you get the values that we're uh, recommending or that we have determined are accurate so that you know enough about the tools and that way then you can have a good conversation with the health professional about this. If you have any uh, questions, please just put them in the comments below and we'll make sure that we answer them. Take care.